Hello everyone, welcome back to another sit down and talk video. Um, these are probably going to be happening more lately except chemo vlogs, surgery vlogs, birthdays, etc. Whatever you want to call them. Um, but today we're going to talk about the unexplained stomach pain I had today as a quadriplegic. Now, tomorrow hits my second month anniversary of being a quadriplegic. My quadriplegic journey started February 13th, 2024. Uh, it is now April 12th, 2024, so almost two months have already gone by, which is honestly insane to think about. So, I'm really excited to make that video tomorrow. Um, but, this is a separate video. Um, is where I had unexplained stomach pain for like four or five hours today, which is not the greatest. It was quite uncomfortable uh, because I can feel internally, but I can't feel whenever something hits like up to here. So I can feel whenever something touches my arms, my neck, like up here and everything, but I can't feel when something touches my legs or something, but I can feel internally like throat pain, lung, whichever pain could be internally, I do feel, even if it's something in my legs, internally, I can feel, um, so if I had nerve pain, I would feel it, but if it was physical pain, like something hitting my leg, I would not feel it, but, um, I had stomach pain, and this morning, it was like 7, 11 or something, so I woke up quite late for college today, but today is the starting of the weekends, which is exciting, but I woke up quite late, and I was like, okay, uh, Sydney got me dressed, and I didn't catheterize myself before college, which I normally do every single morning. Something was just different this morning, I guess. Um, and on the way to college, I don't know, I was on the bus, I started feeling like this little dull pain, but it started getting a little sharp. Like, and I was like, ooh, that's uncomfortable. I can feel that. And it wasn't comfortable in the slightest, and I was like, okay, we're just going to get through this, I'm going to go to the bathroom first, so I catheterized myself in first period, in the bathroom, of course, not just in my first period college class, which is Spanish one, uh, but I catheterized myself, and the stomach pain kind of alleviated, and I could already tell it was already getting better, but it was still kind of dull, um, halfway into second, it went away, and I was like, okay. And for 50 minutes, I was free of stomach pain after I catheterized myself. I was like, great. That's awesome. And b the night before, I ate like four bags of Takis and drank like two Dr. Peppers. And they're like, William, you're not being healthy. Nothing about me is really healthy. I'm not healthy. <laughs> it's just, I'm being honest. My diet is nowhere near healthy. And I get it. You're going to probably fly me in the comments saying, that's not healthy. And that's not right to eat four bags of like, spicy chips and drink two Dr. Peppers and stuff. I get it. But our snacks came in and I hadn't had them in like two weeks. And so, not the Dr. Pepper aspect, but like the talkies and stuff. And I, I like talkies. Just don't, don't flame me, okay? <laughs> but, um, I go through that, catheterize myself from first, and I'm good. Second period, we do this like English outside thing. It was really, really windy, but we had fun conversation. We had an IEP conversation, like how I'm doing, and I emailed Miss Key about therapy because we haven't heard anything uh, in therapy wise for over a month because that video was a month ago, and she has never emailed me back. So we still don't have therapy updates, but that's so fun. Not really. It's been three months I've been trying to get into therapy, and I've never gotten to therapy. But it's stupid. But it's all right. Stay calm. It's good. <laughs> but um, third period is when my weight training slash therapy is my physical therapy, not my mental, which I've been trying to get in. But physical therapy and uh, weight training helps me, like, gain muscle back. Not in the areas that are limp and dead, but in the areas that are, can get strong enough. And so I do that and I'm hanging out with my best friends and the stomach pain starts to come back. I'm like, why? I already peed, I already kept myself and all I had was a 12 ounce soda. That does not make me have to pee within an hour and a half. Um, trust me, it does not. Um, maybe two or three of them, yeah, but not just a 12 ounce little thing. Um, I'm like, okay, the stomach pain starts to come back. I go through the workout. And during the workout, like, the pain has gone away or subsided a lot. And then when I stop the workout, it starts to push up back again. 
like the pain comes back again during lunch and I'm like oh my god it has already been like two three hours of pain now um and it like kept going on and off and in fourth it got worse like it didn't get worse but it like the pain got bumped up a no couple notches and it was painful and so during this time I was like hey I asked one of my nurses to help like catheterize me and I peed and then we done like a bowel stimulation uh with like my enema shot because we have some in my book bag just in case if I need to poop at school uh or at college because I'm there eight hours a day um so that's why and it takes me a little while but turns out my stomach pain has been gone for like an hour now um but I catheterized myself then went number two and it was fine, and now it hasn't come back, so I don't know what that was all about. Maybe poor diet choices, uh, bowel stimulation, re regulation or something, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!